Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for following us on our channel. Uh, if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe because there'll be lots of videos showing you how to do certain things with guitars. And th what we're going to look at today is humbucker pull piece height setting, as this seems to be a question which comes up a lot. Okay, where do you set these? Uh, we'll also be another video on humbucker uh, pickup height, overall height setting, but today we're going to look at where do you actually set. I don't know if you can see that, where you're going to set your actual pull piece heights, okay? And I'm going to go through a couple of reasons why you might want to do that, okay? But this this is one of our pickups. This is a, an old pickup that's been coming for rewind. So we'll have a look at that. It's an Epiphone pickup, and we're going to rewind that for a better sound. And so it's just nice and easy for me to show you because I haven't got, it's not attached to a guitar, so it's much easier, okay? Now, what's inside a humbucker? A lot of people will know, especially if you've got uncovered humbuckers, it's much easier to see what's going on inside there. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got, um, basically you've got, this is what we call the pull piece bobbin, okay? So it's got six pull pieces and that's what you see there. So that's that half of the pickup. And then we've got this one, which is the slug bobbin, okay? Which, and the reason for that is because these are called slugs and they are put in, and if you can just about see that, those are flush, okay? So they're completely flat to the top of the bobbin. So we wind that up, we wind the pair of them up and solder them all together. And then what happens then is that you've actually got a bar magnet, which goes underneath like that, and then it'll all be attached to the base plate um, and soldered together and you'll have a braided wire coming off and then this these then will either be uncovered like a zebra coil pickup like it like got in front of me or they will go into the pickup cover like that okay just to illustrate my point I'm going to tape these two together because I need them to be at the same level because if they're at the same level then I can they flush with each other whoop, then I can do that much much better I can actually just show you it doesn't want to cooperate but if these two because of course they will I'm not gonna want they're not going to wobble around they're going to be stuck at the same height okay now when you come to actually set your pickup height then what everybody is going to go off is the pull piece height because really that's what the point of that's the easiest thing to measure from okay so in a set part two we're going to be doing how to set the, the actual overall pickup height okay but i want you to imagine that that now has all been soldered together and we've now got the finished pickup okay and it's a covered pickup i will be doing a video a bit later in time on an uncovered pickup and height setting with uncovered pickups. But imagine now that the pickup's been finished and we've got this, okay? So here's our finished pickup, let's say. Now, what we do is we actually put, we take a screwdriver. Now, I know this is harder to achieve. You know, it's easier to do when you've got the pickup like this in your hand, okay? And it's much harder to do when it's in a guitar, but it can be done, okay? Now, what you're going to do is I'm not sure if you can see this properly, but we're going to screw each pull piece down so that it is completely flush with the top of the cover. Okay, so here you go. And you can check it against something that's nice and flat like that. So it should be in contact with that. That's actually a little bit higher. Okay, so I'm going to take it just screw it in a little bit more. And then I'm just going to check that that's completely flush with the cover. Okay, now the reason for this, I'll explain in a second, but I'm now going to do that with all of them. Okay, I'm going to try and do it quite quickly because obviously you don't want to be watching me doing this for about half an hour. So I'm just going to do it like this and get them all completely flush. And I'm going to check with, as I said, anything flat at all. So these ones are going in now. It's got a couple more to do it, and there's a bit of a trick here, which 
probably shouldn't show you, but I'm going to show you, okay? If you've got a pickup in your hand like this, obviously, one of the places you could check it with something flat is against the bottom to make sure that all of those screws are at the same length or same height, okay? But you can check it across the top by doing this. Now, I've actually got a little bit of wobble, so there's not quite that one there. This one here needs to go in a little bit. These two need to come out a little bit. Okay, and we check that and just make sure they're completely, if you've got a little bit of wobble, then one of yours is sticking up. So we're gonna start with them all at the same height. Okay, and that is at the same height now. They're all at the same height. I can check across the bottom and I can check across the top. Now, um, why do why have we put them down? You know, this would be described as quite low, I suppose. It's not ridiculously low. They, they, you can still see the tops of the pull pieces and they're not completely rest, recessed inside. But the reason I'm doing that and getting them low down is because later on when I do the pickup height measurement I'm, and it's in the guitar, I'm going to be taking a measurement of the top of the pull pieces, which I'll just be able to touch. Okay, I'll be measuring from the top of the pull piece to the bottom of the string using either this sort of metric ruler or this one with imperial measurements. Okay, and that's how classically people are going to do their height. So those are flush with the cover, so you can still get a height measurement for setting the overall pickup height. Okay, so that's great. Now I'm getting them quite low ends because some people might say, "Oh, that's very low." Well, the reason we need to get them quite low is because if you think about it, even with those screwed in a fair bit more, like on and the covered pickup that I have there, let's say they get to around about that depth, you've still got, actually got the fact that that is quite a lot higher than that one, right? So if you look at that, then that is a good sort of mil, one mil to one mil and a half higher than the slug and they do a very similar job but really the idea is to get this quite low because then we're getting the effect of both bobbins really nicely across the pickup if you've got these really high and then you do your pickup height measurement say off that then really effectively the higher you go with these pull pieces the further away the slug slug bobbin is going so it's not having as much of an effect so we've just found over the years that this gives the best tone set in it the way that we're doing, okay? So it's really just to make sure that we've got both bobbins coming into play tonally really, really well, okay? Um, so that's the reason why we do it nice, or quite low. Another little point here is when you are doing your pickup height, okay, the, your first instinct should be to raise the pickup, not to raise the pull pieces, okay? You need to get the coil up as well as the, the steel part of, of the pickup. You need to actually, you know, when this is wound, it's full of copper wire and we call that the coil. So we need to actually raise the whole pickup globally rather than raising pole pieces to get more volume, right? It just gives a better sound. If you actually raise the pole pieces and not the pickup, then you get quite a, kind of like a spiky tone, okay? So that's why I'm doing that. Now, now I've got them nice and flush and you should be able to see I'll try and show you there. Once you, now they've got them nice and flush like that. So they should be totally flush with the top of the pickup cover. That would be great now for setting the height. But of course, we've actually got a radius neck. So you know, nearly every guitar in the world has a radius neck, unless it's a classical guitar and it's got a flat neck. Now, classically, if this is for, say, a Les Paul or a 335, then it'll be like a 12 inch radius across the neck. So we haven't taken that into account. So this is the little trick that we do when setting up, sending out our paths. What I'm going to do here is go to the A and the, actually we'll do it as if it's a bridge pickup. We've got the A and the B there. I'm going to take note of where they are. So that's there now. And I'm going to let that out by a half turn. So I'm just going to unscrew it by a half turn. And do that with that one and the two middle ones so the D and the G I'm going to let them out by a full turn and now I've actually got a radius across 
the actual pull pieces because I got the two as the highest, the next two as slightly lower, and these ones are the lowest. So you've actually got the stagger. Okay, so that is how we set up a humbucker in terms of pull piece height. There'll be more videos coming on. So the next video will be actually how to set the height of the pickup in a humbucking guitar. Okay, and we'll do a further video in the future on uncovered pickups and where to actually set the height on the pull pieces on those. So keep watching, guys. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you found it useful. And hit subscribe now and we'll we'll you'll be able to see lots more videos in the near future, okay? Thank you.